Okay, so in today's video, uh, we're going to change the front wheel bearings on the ZSB. Um, just to show you what's going on, I'm actually stacking this off, but they're actually, you can actually hear a little bit of noise coming out of one of the bearings. I don't know if you want the videos picking that up, but anyway. So there's a little tiny bit of noise coming out of the bearings. The bearings are cheap, so I'm just going to swap them. I'm not going to mess about here. So I'll just swap these bearings out. I'm not a big fan of the Chinese bearings. They seem to be okay. Uh, but whenever I have the opportunity, I'll just change them for some... Um, much better quality ones, some Japanese or some European and British ones. Um, I think it's a sensible idea. Okay, so I've just um, I've just loosened off the front nut. Um, you see that there. So we've just loosened off the uh, front axle, the front spindle. Um, stuck the jack under there. Um, luckily with the ZSB, space, it's such an easy job. We don't have to remove the wood guard. We don't even have to remove the brake caliper. Um, we can get the front wheel straight out, so it's, uh, it's a doddle really. I think the hardest bit of probably doing this job is be doing it by with one hand. But anyway, I can't be bothered doing the video properly, so hopefully that spindle's loose now. Let's a little bit of a spin around. So we've got a 14 on one side and a 17 on the other. Yeah, it's nice and free. Okay, spindle out. Yeah, let's put the nuts on the floor where you can kick it and lose it. Speedo drive drops away. Um, you can see how the speedo drive locates. It's just got a little peg on the top here. Let's just make sure when you put that back in. And of course, you've got the drive on the inside. And that just needs to lock in between the two here. Um, you see them two pegs there on the wheel. And you can see the wheel bearing there. So let's just uh, get this wheel out. Got this little rubber cap here on the, uh, the seal. Oh, I've actually got a seal there, so you can feel that bearing there, and that actually feels quite rough to me. There's no play in it, but it's a little bit rough. Check the one on the other side. And we've got another seal here, and that one's very rough. Yeah, that's really rough, that one. Yeah, so they're not far off going, then we'll be So it's a good time actually to swap these out. I'm just going to prise out the first seal, I'll just carefully prise out with the screwdriver, um, and that's come out really nice and easy. Um, I'm going to reuse that seal. Um, I don't quite know what that, why that seal's there really, because the bearings themselves are sealed. So it's actually not really performing any sort of um, duty. So as long as you don't completely damage it, I just reuse that seal. Um, it shouldn't be a big problem. Okay. And then the same on the other side. safe and not losing okay and yeah, we should be able to remove that out of there now okay so now I should be able to uh, get my drift down there and uh, knock them bearings out okay so I've got my drift um it's quite a short drift um the edge is a bit battered it's been well used I'm gonna stick that down there tilt it to one side and feel the bearing there it's catching on the bearing okay so I don't think I'm gonna be able to fil film this with uh, one hand Tilt, tilt it over to one side, pull it towards me, block it with my knee. Just some little cracks on there like that. Keep all to the side. And you can the space there. And there's the bearing. Come on out. Yep, the bearing's out. Okay. I don't quite know where that spacer, that rubber spacer, I guess that was round uh, the inner, so I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And of course I've got loads of access now, so it's just a... Ooh, so this side's been a little bit stiff. Yeah, it is coming out. Just a bit of patience. Keep bolts on the side. Okay. And you see that's nice and clean and there, surfaces are good. Put the new bearings in. Okay. 
So I've just got this, I use this aluminium drift. Um, it's pretty easy to knock them in. Um, I'm just gonna keep hitting it. I can't film it, of course, with, a, with only doing one hand, it's very difficult to put. Um, I'm just gonna keep knocking it until I hear the note change and I know the drift's uh, home or the bearing's home. So you can see that uh, the bearing sits quite a bit lower in, so it's just a matter of getting the drift in now and uh, just tapping it in. Just take your time. Yeah, nice and carefully be careful not to damage the, the the bearing or the ceiling anyway and don't hit the inner bit you must always hit the outer part of the bearing okay, so same again i'm just gonna uh, knock this in and keep using my drift just working my way around and just tapping it in until this has gone down nice and flush don't forget to put the space in i'm sure i said that already um, and that spacer should be gripped fairly tightly uh, between the two bearings don't forget to put the uh, speedo drive in and the little seal um, I'll just press that in with my fingers and you can keep the camera focused up. Yeah, and just press that in with my fingers and the seal on the other side as well. Okay, so that goes in nice and flush, you know the bearings in properly, nice and flush there. We're all done. Just pop the little spacer back in, the little cone shaped um, what's my gig uh, seal spacer. I don't know, it's well sealed. Uh, it's three levels of seals on this, there's no way there's any more getting into these bearings. We're all done. You pop this back together again, making sure that the disc goes back in between the pads. Okay, make sure our space is good there. We haven't dropped that spacer off, and then we've got the speedo drive to go in. I'm just making sure that them teeth are not clashing with the, um, the little teeth on the drive. Okay, and that's good. Now we can just lift that up and uh, pop the spindle back in. Don't forget to pop a little bit of grease onto your, onto your spindle. Yeah, just to stop it seizing up. It's not, of course, this is not a bearing surface. It's the bearings that do the work, not the spindle. But that just stops this spindle season there. Makes it easier to get out next time. And the soft mallet, and we're in. Um, I'll pop the nut back on. Now we don't need this mega tight, but just um, I don't know whether the phone's going to stay there when I do it, it's probably going to fall off. Um, um, just uh, it does need to be quite firm, but not you know don't wang it up so that you're going to strip the threads off it. It just needs to be quite tight. I would say tight is the probably the best description.